If you search on Google, you'll find all kinds of different creature baits made by different companies. So basically, they all have a body and then some appendages. The body will look like a football or a tube or a cigar. And they all have different structures, sometimes ribs. Appendages are basically legs, claws, tentacles. You can use your imagination and add whatever you want. The sky is the limit. So let's get started. So we'll create the body first. Um, so in the past, I usually use the pipe form feature to create the body, to shape the body. Here, I want to use a different technique. Uh, I would draw a profile first, a close profile and then use the revolve feature to rotate it around the x-axis and then once I do that I will squash it down using the scale so make it flatter so now I'll have a flat football shape body for the structure on the body I would like to do the same design as the bell scale if you missed that video, I'll put down a link in the description. I like Bellows Gill design very much, the ribs design, because those ribs can carry air into the water. And when the air in the water, they will become bubbles and create some motions. And if you use Carolina rig or weightless, the bait will sink slower. Um, and you will create a longer strike zone. Similarly, here we use the revolve feature to create the core instead of the pipe form. Here you can see um, the core is actually taller than the profile because I have squashed down the profile, the outside part. So here we have to squash down the core portion as well using the scale. Next, we will smooth out the edges of the ribs. As you can see, I select all the edges at once. So finally, let's merge all the little pieces into one body. For the appendages, uh, first I draw out the rough outline and then I can fine tune to the shape I like. Here I also create an offset to the outer outline because I'm going to use that to create a kicker on the tip of this appendage. Because I'm going to use the extrude feature to create the thickness of those appendages. So those profiles have to be closed. As you can see it become light blue. Now I'm creating the secondary appendage. Again, we are drawing the rough outline first. And after that, we can adjust the shape by moving the control points. Now the profile is completed. We are going to use the extrude feature to create the thickness of the appendages. Now let's uh, extrude the kicker portion. To better see the, the sketch, we will hide the primary appendage. So we can select that part of the sketch and then we extrude that portion uh, to a 
appropriate thickness. This part will make the appendage kick when it's falling into the water. At this point, as you can see, the whole lure, the whole bait looks very thin. So I'm trying to adjust the thickness by clicking the history and making the change. So here I cut the chamfer at the middle part of the appendage. So when we fish, we can just split it open into separate pieces. Now making the edges smoother. Finally, create the other side of the appendages using the mirror. Now we have the whole bait completed. Not so fast. So I think the, the appendages are too big. It's not in proportion. So I'm going to make it smaller. Initially, I used the scale feature, but later I found it's not sufficient. So I undo it and um, go back to the history and con change those control points of the sketch. So basically, adjust the sketch instead of using the scale feature. Adding a notch at the top of the primary appendage for easier separation. There got to be a better way to do this. I basically split the appendage into half and use the cross section to find the profile and use that profile to cut out uh, the top part of the appendage. So there you have it. This is my version of the creature bait. Hope this video inspires you to create your own. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. Yeah.